people move to the city every year, and that means they all leave something behind. Now, the Toronto Ward Museum has set out to document the sights, sounds, and smells that remind people of home. Yesterday at Newcomer Day at Nathan Phillips Square, a group from mu- the museum set up what they called a placemaking tent. Now, they asked newcomers to write out the things that remind them of home, uh, write them out on sticky notes. Metro Morning's Mary Weens stopped by to find out just a little bit more about what placemaking means. Hi, I'm Brenna V from the Toronto Ward Museum. So we are asking people two engagement questions, kind of, and one is, if you want to walk with me, uh, one is what smells, sounds, or experiences feel like home, and people have provided really beautiful answers. I think one of my favorites is wet soil, distant thunder, birds chirping after a storm, so very poetic answers like that, and we have a lot of food responses as well, like empanadas, Someone said volcanoes, the smell of grass on a rainy day. And, and so, let, let me ask you to answer these questions yourself. What oh. smells, sounds, or experiences feel like home for you? This is, yeah, no, it's so interesting because I've been asking people this question all day and I haven't actually personally reflected on it. So, as I'm speaking to you, the smell that sounds like home for me is my amama or my grandma. She wakes up every morning and prays and burns a specific incense that smells like sandalwood. So, that scent to me is very particular with home. And interestingly, when my parents went back to Sri Lanka, my mommy or my, my dad's older sister would do the same thing. So, I would like connect that sensation. So, this is my co executive director, Henrik. Yeah, I'm Henrik. And yeah, what feels like home for me really um so i'm from the philippines and one of the things that i really enjoy was being at the beaches you know sand on my feet the, this you know warm breeze that kind of hugs you and you know while eating mangoes and coconuts yeah so that yes. feels very much so like home so i'm the one who wrote the uh, distant thunder and the wet rain and the birds chirping because oh. i i grew up partially in oklahoma and there's no real place that feels like home for me. I was, as a child, I moved from Massachusetts to the West Coast, then to Japan and back to Oklahoma. But that's the place I've spent the most time. One of the signature things about the American Midwest and Oklahoma in particular is that there is just this confluence of environmental factors that result in these massive storms all summer long. And I just miss that. I guess instruct me a little bit in what it means to think about placemaking. What do each of you explain that to me? What what, what does that mean, placemaking? I think one of the things that's unique to the newcomer experience is that you don't think about the place you're in until you are in a new one. Like, until you have this sort of context to think, I miss that, or I wish I could experience that again, you don't know what that was. And I think it also allows you, having these kinds of reflections allows you to reflect on the place you are in now. My mom, who uh, came here as a refugee from Colombo, Sri Lanka, lived right next to a train station. And she didn't realize how much she loves the sounds of trains passing by until she arrived here and began to really long for that interjection, which she assumed was a nuisance when she was a child. I guess that's part of the experience of of loss truly through migration. It's these sensations and these very like visceral experiences that become embedded in your memory and you attempt to recreate. And you do feel it in other contexts, but I think it, it's... It, it's very, it becomes a part of your memory. And that's a little, that's, that's quite beautiful in a sense too. A couple of people have just come to your table. Can you ask them your questions? Yes, so we're from the Toronto Ward Museum. We're a museum of migration all around the city. Um, and we have two questions for you that we want, or we would hope for your responses. One is, what smells, sounds, or experiences feel like home? Food, like my favorite food from my mom. And what is it? Um, like spaghetti, it's homemade spaghetti. Um, song. Is the sun here the same as the sun back home? It's different. It's hotter there. It's hotter, yeah. It's different. The sweat is different than here, though. Yeah. Sweat is different, yeah, that makes sense. And are you from a tropical climate? Yeah. You know what's interesting, though? So, uh, people like from Sri Lanka or Elam, like the sweat is because it's a tropical climate, it's not as like uh, my mom says, it's not as oppressive. <laughs> Or it's not as, like, suffocating. Yeah, hi. 
My name is Selene. I'm coming from Malaysia. You know the smell of food that every morning when I wake up at home, I can smell my mom's cooking more breakfast. That's the smell of home. The smells, the sights, the feels, and the sounds of home. Uh, it's funny because when I think of of what is home to me, I mean, for my adult life, my my home has been where my where my kids live. But I think of places that have been home to me, and um, what sound and sight and smell reminds me of uh, of living on the prairies, living in Winnipeg. Well, I'll tell you, in January. After we had that snowstorm and that big dumping of snow, uh, it wasn't necessarily the sight of the snow that reminded me of where I had moved from. It was getting outside, and you know that 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 dampening of the the, the ambient noise outside. How you can you, you can you can feel and 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 hear that there's a bit more insulation on the grounds because those sound waves are absorbed into it. That slight dampening of outdoor sound is what reminds me of uh, being in Winnipeg, uh, of course, during the winter. It just feels like the whole city is wrapped up in a big fuzzy blanket when it's covered in snow like that. So that's the sound that reminds me of home. I would love to hear what reminds you of of home in Toronto, whether that, that home is um, uh, elsewhere in the province or in the country or outside of this country. Uh, that is the question that the folks at Toronto Ward Museum were asking people at Nathan Phillips Square for Newcomer Day yesterday. So let us know. Tweet us your stories at Metro Morning. What in this city reminds you of um, another home for you. Uh, again, we are at Metro Morning. You can always tweet right at me as well, um, at CBC Asmila, and you can call our Vox Box.